Okay, here's a quick little video I'm going to do for the TBS Discovery Pro Gimbal settings. I tried to upgrade my firmware to one of the newer versions and um, I couldn't get rid of the get rid of the wine from the uh, from the gimbal. So, and it was also a, a shaky, and I couldn't couldn't get it to stop shaking. So I downgraded back to 2.1, and I'm just going to show you all of the uh, gimbal settings. So for your profile one, here's your roll and pitch settings, your motor control or motor configuration roll and pitch settings with the invert select on the top, skip gyro calibration, and make sure to change your Z axis to minus Z, minus Z and Y and then advanced your gyro trust should be 100 and for your profile one you have your PWM frequency to high and that's when it's on the ground and when it when you uh, when you take off with your quadcopter it changes from profile one to profile two so when your profile two you can leave this to low and I guess it has a better um, better control on low but you have that annoying whine. So on your profile one you have it on high so when it's on the ground it won't be screaming at you. Um, that's pretty much it. And for your RC settings uh, you leave it on PWM even if your controller is PPM like mine. Um, your roll and pitch settings are RC roll and pitch and then your command is extension pitch and that's to uh, tilt your camera up and down from your controller and then your RC control uh, settings roll and pitch um, and these are all the same for your profile 1 and profile 2 the only difference is the high and low uh, frequency so when you're uh, when you're done that that's all the the settings you have to do your profile 1 you save your profile and then you write it to your quadcopter before you switch to profile 2. If you don't write it to your quadcopter when you switch to profile 2 it'll just uh, change back to default. So on your profile 2 you go back and you have to change all your settings to the same as profile 1 except for your profile 2 your PWM frequency is low and then you can Make sure you change all your settings and then for your profile 2 you can save it and then write it to your quadcopter. And then when you're on the ground it'll be your profile 1 and then when you take off it'll be your profile 2. And if you don't change your profile 2 settings it'll, it'll all be all wonky different. So it'll be fine when on the ground and you take off it'll go all wonky. So make sure you change both 1 and 2 profiles. Your third one, I don't think it ever changes to that. You can just leave that. But, uh, so yeah, just your one and two. And that should, uh, that should be it. Hope that helps. Thanks.